posted, May 20, 2018 6 hours 0 minutes and 26 seconds PM MDT Mick Mulvaney, former congressman and now acting head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau spoke before the American Bankers Association and said, if you were a lobbyist who never gave us money, I didn't talk to you. The working ways of Washington have been highlighted since Bernie Sanders' 16 campaign. American politics is a pay-to-play game. Spending some time on the FEC.gov site reveals a lot about how corporations, PACs and individuals are hedging their bets, donating to both Republicans and Democrats. The recipients of these dollars can be looked at as investments. And as with any business investment, these corporations, PACs and individuals will be looking for a return on investment. Congressional candidate Joe Negus is one such investment. The Burns and McDonald PAC based in Kansas City is listed on Mr. Negus's FEC filings. According to the Burns McDonald FEC filings, this PAC has donated 56% to Republicans and 44% to Democrats so far this election cycle. Brownstein, Hyatt Farber and Shrek the Denver law firm that also has a lobbying arm in D.C., has donated to Mr. Negus's campaign and collectively is his largest donor. According to their FEC filings, this firm also has donated to Mitch McConnell. The waters get murky at the top of the pyramid, parties don't seem to matter and keeping the doors open for conversation, regardless of who is elected, is the end game for these firms. Mr. Negus is a willing participant in this game by accepting their donations. In contrast, Mark Williams is not willing to play the game. He is not taking any PAC, special interest or lobbyist money. It's time to stop the pay-to-play way of doing business in Washington. Support Mark Williams in the Democratic primary. Marie Adams Balder